and I appreciate you um, recommending the book to me, April. And it's, it's been exciting for me because when I joined late March, early April, I started with send out cards um, because I wanted to be able to thank our donors. I just wanted to do that and I would be done, right? That it would be over. But I got very hooked on the feeling of sending out love to people and gratitude and I couldn't stop. And so then you started sharing with me a little bit about the business opportunity. And I thought, well, if I'm going to do this anyway, and I had a couple of friends that wanted to start doing it, I might as well make a little income to help the ministry or, you know, some of our personal needs while we're down in Mexico. So it was been a great blessing. And the income has actually been significantly more than what I expected for the amount of work that I've put into it, honestly, because the work that I put into it is just um, loving on people and building relationships with people. And that's part of being in ministry anyway, or being associated with any nonprofit, you're building that's relationships true. with people. That's true. And this has put a bridge for me so that I could build relationships better. It gave me another way to do that. It's also been a huge personal development uh, journey for me to be able to learn better how to build relationships from a distance. Because I mean, I'm in central Mexico, but there are families that are spread all over the US. They're in the same country, but they're far apart. And, you know, we've got three granddaughters now. And, and so how do we, how do we keep in touch with them? How do we send them things? How do we uh, send them photos and things like that? So anyway, my problem with being an affiliate was I was listening to everything, reading everything. I'm on the Monday night calls. I'm taking all these notes. And for weeks, I've just been thinking, I have all this stuff out there. I need it to be in order. That's my personality. It's not everybody's. So I don't know that this book is going to be the answer for everyone like it was me. But I'm excited to say that it's been the answer for me because it pulled a lot of things that I already knew and heard and wrote down. It just put them in a line, went through 10. Mm, Do I this. love a good list. <laughs> Once you get your list and you, you know, you get it down pat, you're done. So do you want me to tell the 10 skills in case anyone's interested, April? Oh, absolutely. I think, I think even just knowing the 10 skills real quick, would help people sort of spur them along. I hope that everybody reads this book. I do. And it's on my list. I've actually got a copy of it and I'm going to start it tonight. But real quick, two seconds. Why are there laundry machines behind you? Oh, <laughs> because uh, we drove up to the border in South Texas. We're in Mission, Texas, next to McAllen, Texas. It's a border town. And we came up here to pick up um, some donors gave Bibles and water filters, and we use those in our ministry. So we had to drive up here in our truck to get them. We're here for two weeks just to um, um, get some work done on the truck and make some connections and do some networking for the ministry. And that goes really well with send out cards because I'm actually sharing send out cards um, with a couple of people that I'm connected to here because of the ministry. But I just feel like, hey, this might be something they want to do. Um, not even yeah. a, maybe as a bit, but more, more as a customer because I, I'm getting to know them better each time we're up here. So anyway, we're staying so at a- That's where the good Wi-Fi is, is in the laundry room. Yeah, we had, I, had, I mean, there's no, we stay at a mission center and there's little cabins and there's no Wi-Fi out there. So, but there's air conditioning and Wi-Fi in the laundry room. So here we are. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay. All right. So number one. Okay. So um, I was going to show you one of my, oh gosh, I've just written in this book. It's like crazy. Like I've just written, underlined, written notes. Oh, I love it. I was doing it on the ride up here through Mexico mostly and all the roads are bumpy. So it's like the lines are like this. <laughs> That's all right. I didn't have a highlighter. So anyway, oh, this is the one I wrote in so much. Oh, I love it. Look at that. Yeah, this is page 76. I wrote in the margins, take this to meetings, ask these questions, time saver, avoid this, um, show them that, uh, 
do it this way. And then I put stars <laughs> everywhere. And then one, two, three. <laughs> so uh, it, Donna's going to love this. Uh, I've, I'm so excited that I can, you know, what's great about this business is I can actually know her. Like not, I may never meet her in person, but through Facebook and groups and messaging, she's been in this a lot longer than me. She is an author and I can know her. Yes. I, when you connected us on messenger, she wrote back and said, Jamie, call me anytime and put her phone number. I don't know how much money she's earning, but I'm sure it's way more than me. She's been in a long time and she's kind of like in my stage of life, I'm thinking maybe retired where she's trying to build her retirement. And that's why I'm in it too. Yeah. One of the reasons. Okay. The skills. The first one is you got to use the product and we know this, we're supposed to send cards every day. The second skill is to develop your story. Do you know how many uh, times I've written my story? Oh my gosh. And it changes every time. And I'm like, I can't, you know, it's too long. So anyway, she gives you tell this, then tell that, then tell that. And you have to be able to say it in less than three minutes. So I now have it on an index card and I'm practicing it. So, and I've already actually used it twice this week, but I, I did. Oh my gosh. Work. But I can't I've wait to, to get see how your results from the week come out. Yeah, me too. I've got to get the story down to three minutes. But anyway, the skill three is finding people. And probably anybody that read this, her chapter on finding people would say, well, I kind of knew that. I kind of knew that. Well, I've heard that. Oh, I didn't think about that. She really has some good ideas there. Skill four is inviting people she calls it to see your presentation. She wrote the book in 2018. So it was before Sock Pro. And all the way through that, I'm going, oh lady, if you just had Sock Pro before you wrote this book, you'd I be know, right? Sock Pro all through it. But um, I just made my own notes on that. But so really we're already making our presentation a little bit long distance, no matter where we are in the world. That's what's so cool before we ever have a presentation with them. And that's right. the beauty of the trope. Um, then skill number five is how do you tell them about send out cards? Well, I've done it a lot of times, a lot of ways, but I always say too much. She focuses on ask questions, learn what their need is and only tell them what applies to them right then. Because- oh, so big. As you and I call it, April, when we throw up on people, you know. Oh, I can. I can throw up on somebody, especially if it's something that I love, like send out cards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By the time I'm done, they're like, okay, I was going to send a card, but I'll talk to you later. And that's the way my husband and I both are about the ministry. You know, we're like, you want to know about Cavone Ministries? Let me tell you. You want to know about, you know, living in Mexico and the people there and what we do? I, we could talk all day long. And by the time we leave people, they're like, oh my goodness, I need a nap. Can I just write you a check and you stop? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I needed to learn that, the things that she's been write, uh, writing here about. Your presentation needs to be a lot of questions. And, and one question that she puts in here, which we all know from Jordan is, how do you see yourself using, or could you see yourself using a system like this? That, that's huge. And that's just million, let the question lay there. Yeah, it's a million dollar question. One, if we can be quiet long enough to let them answer that question, then we've got what we need to tell them next. And then it goes from there. Um, skill six is responding to prospects questions. And she has a lot of good points in there that I had not heard before. Skill seven is follow up. And she has a couple of resources that she recommends for that. And I'm looking into those. I really like her follow up system. I've tried several. I've even recommended some to other affiliates. And I've been, I've gone back and like, that's not working for me after all. So <laughs> Scratch that. <laughs> when I get more customers, it doesn't work anymore. I need something more, um, uh, more broad, I guess. Right, right. To handle more people. Okay, so that's the follow up. Skill eight is closing, and we, you know, we've learned a lot about that, but she has some good points. Skill nine is getting started. Like skill nine, you might think, wait, getting started should be at the beginning, but no, it's how do I take all these things and put them in order? Okay, what do I do first? Then what do I do next? And so on. 
Um, and number 10 is build your team. If, you know, if you're an affiliate, then your goal is to build a team. And right. thankfully I have you. So I bring my people to be a part of your team. But at some point, you know, hopefully I'm going to have a good, strong team under your good, strong team. And that's what I love about send out cards is all the teams learn from each other. They share unselfishly. I've never seen anything like that. Right. I totally agree. I, I just just had an occasion recently where somebody's coming over um, from another network marketing company that that she's no longer with. And she was like, okay, tell me about the stuff. Tell me about the trips. Tell me about the cars. Tell me about the stuff. And I'm like, that's not how we do. We love people. And then we make money when we love people. Like, <laughs> it's not, we don't do all the... I don't know. And, and I was, I was proud to say that I didn't, I didn't feel like I was saying it in a, Oh yeah, we don't have that. I was a, that's not who we are. Yeah. Yeah. I really like that. I like that about it too, because I don't really care about all that stuff. Me neither. It's not going to take you into retirement. <laughs> no, it's not. And, um, so anyway, she has a lot of resources in the back. Um, she has a section, I have not read this appendix, section four called um, Five Steps to Manager, because that's my goal is to get to manager before January 1st. And so hopefully um, I'll get some good pointers out of that. So. You will. And you're only two system packages away from the VIP retreat in January. Qualifying. I don't know if I would get to go, but I definitely want to qualify, so. Well. <laughs> This is her book. This is a picture of her. I don't know if anybody can see that, but yeah, she's wonderful. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. I actually got another book on there. I don't know if I told you it's by Judy O'Higgins and it's just a little booklet. I didn't bring it in here with me, but it's called License to Retire. And she was like hitting around 60, which I'm 60. And she was saying, you know, my retirement and my social security is not going to afford me to be able to travel and I want to travel. And so she started doing send out cards and then she ramped it up and started putting more hours a day in it because she was like, I know if this is going to build, I've got to work for it. Yes. It's not going to happen. I'm going to have to not quit, be consistent, which we've heard a lot about lately. <laughs> and <laughs> I have this in front of me all the time. Yes. I know. I, I love that word now. It's well, I love it some days and I hate it some days. Right, right. I know. <laughs> but anyway, Judy O'Higgins book, License to Retire. And so both of these book, that book you can read in a few minutes. Um, but I highlighted and wrote like crazy in that one too, because it's my life and it's possible. And she knows Jordan Adler personally. And she yes. knows others that are higher up in the company. She's probably high up. I don't remember but those people are not just somebody you see on TV. Those are those people are real people that if we are affiliates that are active in the Monday night calls and reading in the Facebook affiliate group, we actually get to read their words and their experiences and they right. share with us, even though it doesn't profit them anything. Right, exactly. And that is what I love. So if they can do that, I can do that. I'm pretty determined girl, so... Yes, which I'm very, I'm very thankful for, you know, um, somebody, <clears throat> we were on Callie's call the other night and Willie Diefenbach Jones said something that just rang in my ears and I still hear it. She said, I want you to write down how much you want to make a month. Yeah. And then we, yeah, I, I wrote a number down. And too. then she said, I want you to write down how many hours are you working per week for that month? Is that equal to what that is worth? Yeah. And a lot of people are like throwing darts at this thing and, you know, telling somebody every once in a while and that kind of thing. And they're making 20 bucks a week, you know, or or a month even. And so it's just, I, I think network marketing in general gets this, oh, you don't, 
all you gotta do is spit at it and you're gonna make a million dollars. And it is work. But I think the amount of work that I'm doing now, and my family will attest to this, I'm doing a lot more work right now. But in five years, I'll be doing a little less but it'll be consistent and it'll be five times more income. Yeah. So if I can just You'll keep be making on money for what you did in the past. Yes. And stay consistent. It's not like when you, you know, if you're working a job and you worked last week for 40 hours, that 40 hours is done. You've been paid for it and it's over. Right. It doesn't build on what you're now doing this week. Yeah. And, and sort of, the rule of 72 in finance is just a beautiful rule. I love it. And we taught it to our boys recently and their eyes bugged out. If you don't know the rule of 72 and you're watching this, please go Google the rule of 72, but it's compounding interest. Mm -hmm. And that's what this does. This is compounding interest. Mm -hmm. And if somebody had told me eight months ago, that a pilot for Delta would probably need to depend on his plan B, I might have laughed. But here we are. Mm -hmm. And God is big. He's bigger than Delta. He's bigger than send out cars. And he doesn't need either one of them to provide for us. But I believe that he's using this as a tool mm -hmm. to reach people, to help me expand my network, help you expand your network, help you expand your ministry mm -hmm. with this tool. Oh yeah, definitely. So yeah, I, I hope everybody goes and gets this book and maybe we can have Donna, maybe if two or three people read the book cover to cover, maybe we can get Donna to come um, do a Q&A session or something with us one night inside the affiliate group. That'd be super fun. Yeah, we could have a, I would love to have a Q&A with her. I would feel really bad calling her, even though she offered her phone number, because I'm sure she has a really busy life. But, um, but I mean, I'm not saying I'm rich or anything, but I have definitely seen an increase. I'm surprised at how many hours I've put in at how much money can be made. And, and here's the thing, if we're going to love on people anyway, and if we care about being biblical about it, and some people may not, and that's fine, but I do. And if I need to do that anyway, and that's what God wants me to do anyway, that's the, the two commandments that Jesus left us with, love God and love others, you know, and make disciples. But, um, you know, if we're going to love others, then we're going to need to talk to others we're going to need to reach out to others we're going to need to initiate if we've got the basketball in our hand we got to throw it in their court before they're going to throw it back we can't sit around and wonder how come nobody loves me how come nobody contacts me how come i feel so disconnected well this these are times where we can feel disconnected very easily but we can't throw that off on someone else i don't right. care what our situation is with the way technology is today and the way the phone, you know, we could use a phone or whatever, whatever age a person is, they can reach out to others. And if we reach out to others every day, they are going to reach back. Right. And I told Phil, my husband, the other day, I said, I love this. I love how it's increased the relationships since I've been sending cards. And I said, but I just need to leave my phone in the other room every now and then because I've never gotten that many messages and they're not all, most of them don't have anything to do with send out cards, but guess what? You could trace my, my, what do you call it? Engagement, I guess. Yeah. Interactions. That's the word I'm looking for with that person back to months ago, I sent them a card or I sent them a message and said, Hey, do you mind giving me your address? I love sending out cards and celebrating with people from a distance. I'm far away and I love being right. connected and so they sent me their address. I sent them a card. They sent me a thank you. I wrote them again to, and we talked about how, what's going on in our lives. And the next thing you know, I'm saying, well, how did your son's graduation go? Or I'm so sorry you lost your mother or your, your dog or whatever's going on in your life. And then next thing you know, I'm getting messages all the time. And I'm like, I love it. But sometimes I just need to set it down yeah. for 
more and go away. But that's such a good problem to have because I don't feel lonely. Right. What I hear you saying is God has used this as a tool to open the door for conversations which lead to relationships, which lead to, you know, even deeper relationships. And then, you know, sometimes people become a deeper friend. Sometimes they become a contact that you need for something else later. Like you guys are in a relationship with the people that are fixing your truck in Texas. You know, they become pieces in your life um, to make life better. Right. And it all started with, hey, can I send you a card? And it's just a great, it's just a great intro to anything. Yeah. Because you're not saying, hey, I need to show you a business or, hey, I need to keep in touch with you or, hey, let's call each other every once in a while. It's, <laughs> not, it's just a... I don't know. I, I love how soft it is. I do too. And that's, that's what gets me is that it's just a soft way to love and mm -hmm. we can't hug. <laughs> we can't have coffee. Like even just today, I sat with a mother that recently lost her 33 year old son and she's wanting to send cards to her grandchildren you know, of pictures of him and them and memories and things like that. It's just no other way to do that. So I'm so thankful that it's here. I'm thankful that my friend told me about it years and years ago and kind of wish she did tell me about it eight years ago instead of four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But God's timing is perfect. And um, his his methods and modes are always right and they're always good and he's always good. And so I'm thankful that he's given me this so that I could have you. <laughs> and I'm thankful that he's given me this so that, you know, it, it helps me through some dark days. Sometimes when I can send a card to somebody, I feel better. And then in five days, whenever the card gets there, they feel better. And then they text me and I feel better again. So it just keeps on giving, I feel like. So anyway, um, all right, folks, if you have questions for Jamie, please put them in the comments. Um, Shelly Wilson says, you look great, Jamie, and I love your hair. <laughs> oh, I, so, I, I want to meet her in person one day. Isn't it cool that through Send Out Cards, we can have all these new I friends? I know, right? I've never met her either. Really? Nope, she's in Gail's organization and she lives in Augusta, so I've never met her either. But yeah, that's right. Anyway, she sent my mom a couple of cards and so thankful um, at the people that have loved on my mom during this time. So, anyway, I'm gonna um, close if it's okay with you. And then um, I'm gonna actually recorded this not from the very beginning, but pretty much the beginning. I recorded it so. Um, I'm going to send it to you and maybe we'll end up uploading it somewhere. You know, if we upload it to YouTube or whatever, then everybody can see it. That's not in our affiliate group, but it's called hold the book up one last time. It's called deal your own cards and it's by Donna Sylvester. You can find her on Facebook, but you can find this book in the send out cards gift store and mail it to yourself, which I highly recommend. And if so, you're a 60, I highly recommend you also get, it's like $2.99 or something, Judy O'Higgins' little book, License to Retire. Okay, I'm going to look for that too, for sure. All right, thank you, Jamie. I really appreciate it. I'm going to, um, thank you. I'm going to go, Shelly say, I love knowing you both. So maybe we'll all get together one day and have a, a big fun mail some joy meeting. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. All right. All and right. if you guys are seeing this video, if we decide to upload it to YouTube or something and you have no idea what we're talking about, um, go to um, sendoutcards.com slash marigold mail. It's M-A-R-I-G-O-L-D-M-A-I-L, marigold mail. And um, you can send a free card. You can, you know, chat with Jamie if you need to. You can find her on Facebook through Cavone Ministries if you need to. 
but um, connect with us somehow if you have questions about this and if you just stumbled upon it and want to know what in the world to send out cards or if you're in a nonprofit and you'd like to know how to thank your donors, this is a great way to do it. And um, we are to love one another and that helps us do it even quicker and faster when you can send a bunch of cards every day. So I love y'all. Have a great night. Thanks for joining us and I will see y'all later.